In other words, the money news, more and more people are making the switch from gas powered cars to electric. In 2018, there were about a million of them on the road, but by 2025, there could be 18 million. Wow, so where do the Carolinas rank when it comes to going green? Consumer reporter Bill McGinty here with all the pros and cons. So you're not left asking, where's the money, Bill? Yeah, guys, you know, this is always a hot button topic for some reason. More and more people are thinking about making the switch. Is it beneficial to your wallet here in the Carolinas? That's what we're dissecting today. President Biden has said he wants half of all new vehicles to be electric by the year 2030. And major automakers like GM, Audi and Volvo have all said they'll stop selling internal combustion vehicles within 15 years. North Carolina ranks more in the middle of the pack on states pushing this kind of technology forward. It measures better on some things um, and more in the middle on others. South Carolina is a little further down. Julianne Lander is a data analyst. She studies trends in different parts of the country. Electric, she says, has plenty of green pros. For example, maintenance is going to be less and no more oil changes. But cons include distance of about 250 to 300 miles and a charging time of hours. The top state supporting this technology? Washington State. North Carolina ranks 16. South Carolina ranks 48. North Carolina has more than 560 public charging stations, while Seattle alone has 2,039 charging stations. You can recharge your vehicle during the night when electricity rates are typically lower. Like I said, some people like the idea of going green and others will never do it. And that's a personal choice. By the numbers, EV sales nationally dropped off a bit. But here in North Carolina, EV sales actually grew by 5% from 2019 to 2020. Governor Roy Cooper says he is committed to going green. His 2018 order established a goal of 80,000 EVs on our roads here in the Carolinas by 2025, with this is the most important part of that order, expanded support networks. That seems to be one of the hiccups in this whole thing. Wow. Yeah. It definitely seemed like those networks have been growing, though, over recent years. So. I feel maybe for some people it is making more sense. Nowadays. Well, it's astonishing when you look at just Seattle, Washington, yeah. compared to the whole state of North Carolina. Wow. It's, it's pretty crazy mm -hmm. when, when you see what they have done out there. Yep. Indeed. They're expanding. Bill, thank you. you bet.